welcome to the Tony Ning Show. Our show is all about bringing to the forefront all the great Canadian talents in the film, TV, and theater industry. Today, we have an amazing guest. He is Canadian-born producer, the founder of Rain Dance Film Festival, as well as the British Independent uh, Film Awards. My guest is instrumental in shaping the careers of many filmmakers, including the commercially successful Christopher Nolan, writer and director of The Dark Knight Rises and Inception. So without further ado, please welcome my special guest, Mr. Elliot Grove. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for Hi. having me. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. So tell us about Rain Dance. Uh, Rain Dance is a film festival in London, England. It's also a training uh, organization. We do many, many courses in London. Uh, we also run the British Independent Film Awards, and we have satellite offices in Brussels, Budapest, Berlin, New York, and Toronto. Wow, that's very impressive. Uh, Rain Dance has shaped a lot of uh, independent filmmakers in the, the many years that you've been running it, mm -hmm. and some of them have had some really... It's, you know, incredible commercial s success. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, maybe you know touch upon some of the some of the highlights? Oh well, the the big names: Chris Nolan, Edgar Wright, Guy Ritchie, Matthew Vaughan. Um, God, there's more. Uh, Tom Hooper, yeah. you might know from the King's Speech. Uh, but I must stress, Tony, there's many, many people who have achieved terrific success, but okay. yet have have yet to achieve the commercial and public uh, face of success that right. those few names I mentioned have. Uh -huh. And it's those people I really uh, love to think about, not only in London, but over here in Toronto, because uh -huh. they're the people who are the um, hot butt bed of talent, and it's where the next big indigenous Canadian film is likely to come from. Right, right. Now, I've taken a few of your workshops, uh, and I find them just simply amazing. Mm. Um, but in your words, what makes your workshop so special? Well, I think t to most filmmaking courses teach filmmaking, most universities teach mm -hmm. filmmaking, and we don't. And in fact, if any of your listeners or viewers are watching mm -hmm. and, and want to learn about filmmaking, this right. is the wrong place to go because okay. at Raindance we make filmmakers. Right. It's a very different, subtle little shift. Okay. So when you say you make filmmakers, what 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 do you do that makes you so much different? <laughs> Uh, I, th I think the, the people that we employ to teach and the, and the whole ethos of rain dance, the fact that we have one of the world's top 50 leading film festivals, and, and we see a lot of careers starting off, and I right. think it gives us a certain advantage. No one wants to write a script or make a film and have it sit under the bed with right. nobody seeing it. Right, right. Or no one wants to you know, spend every single penny they can get their hands on and make a film that right. loses every single penny. And, and that's the beauty of cinema. It's part commerce, part art, part collaboration, part unique vision, and that's the sort of thing we teach in our programs. Right, right. Now, uh, in your opinion, what's the difference, difference between a struggling uh, filmmaker and one that's very successful? I mean, is, there, is it just pure talent, or is there some kind of secret sauce? Uh, there is no secret sauce, and there is probably very little difference between a struggling filmmaker and a successful one. Although, Tony, do you know what the difference between a pizza is and a struggling filmmaker? No, I don't. A pizza can feed a family of four. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That old chestnut, yes. <clears throat> and on that note, we're going to take a small break, and we'll be right back, so stay with us.
Hey, we're back with the Tony Ning Show, and my special guest today is Elliot Grove. So, Elliot, uh, you've helped so many uh, filmmakers uh, achieve great success, and uh, I'm sure it's a lot of hard work. What drives you to do this? Ah, it's not work, Tony. You wake up in the morning, and I do exactly what I want to do. And of course, there are administrative things which are dull and boring. But then, hey, everyone's got that. Um, and everyone that works at the Rain Dance team, including here in Toronto, right. is here. Not certainly for the money, I can tell you that. Okay. Um, they're here because they believe in what they do and enjoy what they do. Right, and I think right. if you don't believe or don't enjoy, then you can't be a filmmaker. Right, right. Now, I know the Rain Dance organization offers workshops, and you've written some books. I, I just have two of them happen to be sitting here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the books I've written... Uh, come out of my experiences with working with people exactly like yourself, Tony, and the okay. stuff that I've learned. And remember, I didn't go to film school or university. I'm completely self-taught, and I learned okay. the hard way by trial and error. Right. And um, I've been very lucky to meet a lot of talented people on my journey, and right. have made right. a lot of amazing discoveries and told me a lot of really interesting things, and all I've done right. is written right. it down. Right. Now, I know on top of the workshops, I, I realize that just being around rain dance the networking opportunities are phenomenal, and I think that's uh, that's something that needs to be you know said. Uh, now, Raindance also offers a, a film course where students can uh, achieve or earn a master's degree. How does that work? Uh, we have partnered up with the university in England, a very forward-looking university that agrees that if someone like yourself, Tony, for mm -hmm. example, posed a question, and that question could be, I want to write a script, I want to make a movie, I want to study the effect of keywords on SEO for right. the film or crowdfunding, whatever it happens mm -hmm, to be, mm -hmm. you pose a question and then we work with you. It's right. only 15% of that time is academic, right. and either one year full-time or two years part-time, um, and then make that film or script your thesis, so to speak. Right. This university will recognize that as work at a master's level and award you right. via right. rain dance. Right. Right. And it's, it's, it's quite unique in the world. There's nothing like it anywhere else. Right. Now, I know as a screenwriter, now that you've finished writing a screen, what next? Right? So you have to learn how to pitch. And I know you have a, a great workshop on pitching. And, uh, and also you have a great uh, live ammunition uh, that, that comes up from time to time. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the pitching. Uh, well, pitching is a process whereby you convince someone to invest in your know, movie or sell or buy your screenplay. Mm -hmm. And the live ammunition pitching competition is something we've been doing since the early 90s in London and all over the world now. And a room full of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. People as yourself right. have pitched yes. to put a five in the hat. <laughs> and then yes. there's a panel of um, people with, that have the ability to say yes to right, your film. Right. Producers, distributors, uh -huh. financiers, um, as we do in Toronto, right, and right. and every time we do this, somebody gets their script snapped right. up by right. someone in power. Excellent. Well, I know uh, from my own personal experience that uh, pitching is not as easy as it looks, and you know, for all the scriptwriters out there, definitely you need you need to take the pitching workshop to uh, mm -hmm. to brush up your skills. Uh, tell us about your current project. Uh, I'm working right now on <coughs> on a film with a Dutch director called Ade de Young. He might be known to you as the yes. writer director of Drop Dead Fred with right. Mayol yes. Fogbaum with Ben mm -hmm. Stiller. These were done almost 20 years ago. I think ago my, Miami Vice too was, was Miami that. Vice. Okay. Um, and and I found a, a writer who who had failed in life. He's uh, uh, gotten different neurological and physical uh -huh. problems. He was kicked out of a filmmaking school right, in right, London. Right. But wrote a script that everyone thinks is amazing, and we are doing a crowdfunding campaign right now on mm -hmm. Indiegogo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that film will be get made uh, this summer, summer 2012, and hopefully summer 2013, I should say, and hopefully and ready for this year's Rain Dance Film Festival. Right. Okay. And you're going to be the pr producer on that and film. I'm producing. Yeah. Excellent. Now you also wrote a book about low to no uh, filmmaking mm -hmm. or low to no budget filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate just a little bit on that? Uh, I meet filmmakers all over the world, uh, Tony, and especially here in Toronto who say they'd like to make a movie, but right. they don't have the million or two million or ten million it takes to make the movie, and right. they end right. up making excuses uh -huh. of why they can't make a movie. And right. the whole point of low to no budget filmmaking is making a movie not with what you want to have, but with what you've actually got. Right. And right. once you accept that and view the fact of not having money, yes. not as a problem, but right. as a seriously challenging creative opportunity right. 
it, it, it just inspires people and stuff gets made with, right, I right. cannot believe how cheap right. them some of these movies are right. and how good they are despite the lack of money. Right. Now, if somebody out there wants to get involved with Rain Dance or find out more about it, where can they find, where, where can they go? Is the web address? Yes, uh, our web address is raindance.org and then okay. if you go there, you can see Toronto or Berlin, wherever right. you happen to be in the world, but okay. raindance.org uh, and there's all kinds of forums and blogs right. and stuff. Right. Right. And our Twitter account at Raindance too. Right, right. And how how much is the uh, membership to to be, become a member of Raindance? I mean, there's so many benefits to it. Tell tell us a little bit about that. Now, Tony, I know I paid you to ask me that question. <laughs> but it's only a hundred dollars a year, wow. for which you get three yes. script registration, right. saves a bomb. Uh -huh. uh, you get a, a discount in, uh, to our training and also some of our free events. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, as well as a pin access to our restricted area on the right, website. Right. Loads and loads of stuff, over a thousand online classes, um, uh, script PDFs of famous scripts, uh, business plans, right, all kinds right, of stuff. Right, right, right. Thank you very much, Elliot. It's been a pleasure. That's it for, uh, for today's show, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Mr. Elliot Grove is definitely, definitely uh, someone you want to uh, uh, be mentored by, and I hope you, uh, take, uh, you know, take it seriously and Come check out raindance.org and sign up as a premium member. And I think your life, it would be a life-changing experience. Thank you very much. Until next time. Bye for now. Thanks, Tony.